so what's great about these after action reviews is that we have this first person view. So when we're out riding, it almost like it imprints this experience into our brain. It's like, hey, watch out for this next time. And that's what we're doing here, okay? We're here trying to learn. And remember, we're only taking away the strengths and we're disregarding the weaknesses from these videos. So if there's something that is blatantly obvious, disregard that. Things that come out to you that would be something that you definitely would want to do, let's keep that with us, okay? So, so we're gonna go ahead and move to the area where this started to happen. So I want you to take a real quick look at where these tires are next to this line, okay? So that's what's really important here. That's gonna really indicate where this vehicle is going well before they actually use their indicator. So look how close or how far away these tires are to the line. We're gonna get a little bit further up here and then just even on right here, now we are even closer and closer and closer to that line. That person is not staying within where they're supposed to be going. So the mindset of this rider, I believe he's you know paying attention, he's, he's focused on riding, he's not super focused on going crazy with traffic, so that's gonna help him and serve him better. Now the training involved when it came to this is that he's noticing that this vehicle is getting a little close, and he's also, uh, I'm gonna make an assumption here, he might have looked into his left mirror here and it's gonna uh, help him out when it comes to having his spatial awareness. And that's really important because if you're gonna do any type of evasive maneuver like a swerve, you definitely need to know if you're swerving into something. So he actually uh, gets to this point right here, he sees them, he's gonna start using his horn. Now that is where the training kind of failed a little bit. Uh, we talk about yellow, orange, red, and black stages. This right here is definitely a trained habit. Um, so he's actually utilizing a red stage of I'm doing something and that's gonna be that horn. Now that's not something I want you guys to really focus on and, and, and really pay attention to because horns don't do much. Um, it might grab their attention, it might not. One thing that I know that will help me out when I'm riding is the fact that I'm getting out of their way. That's the only thing that I know that's gonna really do a difference 100% um, of the time because I paid attention to where you know, my, my blind spots are, my spatial awareness all around me, and I now have control of me, not control of them. And that's what a horn's trying to do is take control of the situation of somebody that has this really big cage around them that is pretty much uh, soundproof uh, if they have their stereo up and then just really cars are soundproof nowadays. So a horn, definitely, I don't want you guys to be focused on that, but right here, so you see how his handlebars start to shift a little bit to the left? And I talked about this in my swerving video, so if you guys wanna check that out, make sure you check it out. I show you how to swerve and why it's very important. So right here, yeah, so he's gonna go ahead and switch into there, but at the same time of switching lanes, he's staring at the driver, and this is where we can go ahead and remove some of the weaknesses of this video. So the training uh, should be focused up front, swerve if you have to, look real quick, look real quick, swerve and keep going, now you're focused forward. But he stays in this area of I'm staring at this driver, he pissed me off, or he put me in a situation, I wanna know why. And it's not really our jobs to know why when we're out riding, our jobs are to survive, okay? So that's the whole point of these after action reviews is that we can actually pause and freeze frame it and actually learn from it. But in the situation, let's just keep going. Let's either stop or keep going and look forward. That's what I really want you guys to be doing. So he's gonna keep looking back, looking back. And if you notice, he's already in this lane. But imagine if there's somebody wanting to pull out like this car right here or somebody was crossing his path of travel and he wasn't paying attention and crashed into them. So that's not what I want you guys to be doing. So his training was actually really good. His mindset was uh, situated in safety. He was paying attention to his mirrors. He was paying attention to his surroundings. He saw the person coming into his lane and he did two things. He used his horn and then he swerved. Now go ahead and disregard that wasted movement of using your horn, go ahead and swerve. Now he also was staring at the driver going forward, looking back, looking forward, looking back. I want you guys to look forward and then just do a quick head check to make sure they're still not coming into your lane, but then keep looking forward and get out of that situation and then be prepared for the next one. So in this one, he went from yellow, orange into the red. Uh, the black stage is when you just have a full panic. He didn't panic, so that was really good. He went into the red stage, which is really good um, because you need to be able to use some type of your training and then he got out of there. So with that said, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe, check out all these other videos and make sure you hit that subscribe button and it really helps out the channel by being around. All right guys, I'll be seeing you around.